there's no way that Wataru Endo is the reason why Kevin De Bruyne was taken off by Pep Guardiola. Our 16 million pound bargain signing won six of his seven duels, made six recoveries, and had a 100% tackle success rate. I love how no matter what, Wataru gave absolutely everything, whether it was tracking back or in a tackle, which always got the crowd going for the non-stop effort he always put in. I remember how a lot of us had doubts about how he would cope in the big games, but my god is he proving the whole league wrong. From not many of us knowing about him to being one of the best defensive mids in the world, I'm just so happy for him because you can see just how much it means to him. Otaro Endo. How is he so good? <laughs> I'd be so jealous if he played for someone else. I would be so jealous if we didn't have him. He's winning back headers. How is he so good ahead of the ball when he's a four foot two? Just does not stop. I love the fact that he wears his gum shield as well. Love it. He wins that ball back so much. But my God, him and McAllister really just, oh, oh. Okay, had Rodri and De Bruyne bloody, he was nipping at their heels. But there was one guy that, it's crazy, a year ago, probably no one even knew his name. And that's Wataru Endo. And a lot of the buzz after the game, because he played so brilliantly, mm. I think got the better of De Bruyne a few times, looked better than Rodri at times. He really took a hold of that game, was wow. What a piece of business from Liverpool. What a bit of coaching from Jurgen Klopp. And what a player Wataru Endo is. And before I go into any of that, I think Liverpool's scouting team deserves massive, massive plaudits. We have to, in a way, right? I think everybody has to kind of hold their hands up and be like, listen, Endo, we all owe you an apology. Yeah. Because... We weren't familiar with his game. It's as simple as that, right? Facts. We were not familiar with his game because... You look at him, listen, we all watched him in the um, World Cup with Japan mm -hmm. and he was a good player. But, yeah, you know, Japan, player. they always have these kind of techie, short, decent players, right? So you're just thinking, oh, OK, that's just Japan on the international stage. No, no one's going to sign these guys. Comes through the back door. Klopp says to him, I really need you. And I, I even remember tweeting saying... Why did Klopp lie to him like this? Because he ain't played in ages. But maybe he'll just get acclimatized. Yeah. And since then, I mean, this guy is, is running midfields. Let's see what some of the chats have said for Endo. Johnny says, <laughs> get your gum shield out. Say Scotty says, boss every game. Laze G says, money ball boss. And he is. Endo is a boss. As we move into midfield now, Watoro Endo. Eh, okay. I thought he could have done a bit better on some occasions, but as I said, I'm not going to harshly judge him. I've given him a score of 6 out of 10. Oh, he was only playing for, you know, only till half time with Tari Endo, and he wasn't. He Endo wasn't. again, a gr a gr I, he, I've got to, because of the game, and because you've kind of got to say he's been a, a weaker player, I'm going to give him a 6.5. 6.5, because he was, he was great today, he just in his time that he was on except he just made that that you know so, error so not an error oh um eight bro, again. End, yeah end of eight no nah, do you know what oh, wait, you're not, i'm saying I'm, I'm giving endo 8.5 i'm gonna go a for endo when was Haro endo around the club not too many people's heads when but you obviously played against him in germany he's impressing a lot now so what is it about him playing a game that makes him so difficult and how impressed have you been playing alongside him yeah, I played against him when he was at uh, when he was at Stuttgart, and uh, it's a player like he's everywhere. It feels you, it feels like you passed him, and then you turn around, he's already there. So I can understand why the why the people are thinking like, how is he there exactly when I just passed him? But um, yeah, I'm happy to to have him in my team. Wataru Endo is undoubtedly the bargain signing of the season, but he has really transformed Liverpool's midfield, and I do think it's mostly down to the fact he is a proper defensive midfielder, showing that's what Liverpool really needed at the start. But in my opinion, against Manchester City, he was the best midfielder on the pitch. I think he was better than anyone else, and he was everywhere doing everything he could. And when you pair this player up with someone like Virgil van Dijk behind him, you are going to get an elite defensive coverage there. Endo isn't necessarily a flashy player, but he does his job so well, and he's so effective. He 
often stood in such a good position just in front of Haaland and he often stops the ball to go into Haaland very much. He's always in a great spot to pick up the ball but he doesn't actually have to use his physicality that much. He obviously knows he's probably going to lose a battle to Haaland so he often stays a few feet away from him just so he can pick the ball up and not have any issues with it and he was doing this a lot in the game. Endo is incredibly mobile. It doesn't even matter if the space between him and the midfielders is too much. If the midfielder, one of his other players, is trying to win the ball back or necessarily about to lose it if he's in a bit of a duel with a player. I thought Endo's space going up to it was incredible all game. He's so quick at being activated to the chance. And his acceleration is amazing just to get to the ball and help his midfield. He's a player that goes around and helps everyone else. He helps everyone else on the ball and gets on the ball a lot more. And it's not just his coverage of Haaland. He was actually having very good coverage across the whole of the midfield. There's many times where De Bruyne or Bernardo Silva would also pick up the ball and he'd be so quick to get there because his acceleration is so amazing. He can often stand a few feet away from players and just quickly sprint to win the ball back and he's very physical in a tackle, demanding it almost. So he's not allowing people just to turn him very easily. He's going to fight and try and win the ball back brilliantly. And he's very good at just having nothing on the ball and then suddenly reactivating it to making it quicker. This is very good for Liverpool and helps their tempo. And you can see that they're trusting him a lot more in that midfield because as soon as Kelleher passes it out, Endo comes deeper to help the defenders and often he is getting the ball in the inside. This is a very hard role. He's got to pick his passes carefully. And he's still not very afraid. He does passes across the whole pitch to the attackers or he'll play it to the wingers. He doesn't really mind. And although they're not going to come off all the time, it's very good that he's showing that lot of brave ability on the ball and that's going to help Liverpool in the long run keep the ball a lot more and actually create chance. Endo is the one that is really physical in the challenge. Now, I think the other two midfielders also had a really good game, specifically McAllister, but Endo is that real one that's actually going to go and try and win the ball back. But the best words to describe Endo as a player is he's just always aware. There's many times where the ball drops down in the midfield and he'll be the one sliding in, picking the ball up in great positions, even in the box from a lot of corners. He often sat back post, but it got headed out to him and he's there clearing it or making a really good pass to get Liverpool on the break. And just being that aware is so important for a team like this. Having someone who's always locked in, always knows what he's doing, never losing the ball, never being complacent is really, really good. Just lets the player know that he's there and Endo kept doing this that I thought was really, really good. He's winning the ball back in loads of different positions and physically empowering a lot of players, even at his stature. Really protected the back line, but also look progressing it up that left side when he needed to, running into space and also helping the team with the gaps that would have been there. Now, one of my main questions was, can Endo and McAllister work together in a midfield? Because I thought they struggled in the past, but I think Liverpool have finally figured it out. They both need to do very much the same role, but McAllister plays a little bit more higher and they play a little bit of a double pivot because that suits McAllister next to a defensive mind and player. And there's also still question marks around Sobersly, if he really works with them or maybe get someone like Curtis Jones when he comes back from injury or when Elliot moved into it, they looked a bit better. There's definitely question marks around Liverpool's midfield, but Endo has definitely improved everything. He's a brilliant player and just for the amount of money they spent on him, they deserve immense credit of picking him up. Of course, he is only 31 years old, so he might not last forever, but he's still a very good option that could end up winning Liverpool the league title this year.